What's up, YouTube's Chad Weems, Scarver County Kid, with another update. Well, as of two days ago, I put in my dash kit. I came in on uh, what's today? Came in on Monday, and uh, the same day after work, I got off at like one o'clock. Uh, it was hot as hell outside, but I really wanted to get it done. I uh, put it in myself. All I did was, like I said, pop that off. I didn't even have to use a pry tool or a flathead. I just used my fingers, popped it right off, slid it that way, popped right off. And then, uh, you know, you lift that up. You know what I'm saying? The vents lift that up. And then you, you know, unscrew the four screws that are like right there. And then it comes right out. And then I just took the radio out and everything. Right here. Radio. Now I wish I had like one of those uh, module things, that way I could still use my steering wheel controls, but that's just extra money, you know what I'm saying, I didn't really have at the time, which I don't have right now, but, um, yeah, it's in there, uh, let me see, let me turn it on real quick. Yeah, let me, uh. CD radio sounds bad. Let me close the door. That's a new one. I'm so used to macking and hooking the back to back when I'm attacking it. I want to go get in. She blew the whistle like, be still. Hold it. Yeah. It's a little bit louder with this deck, but this is an older deck, so I'm uh, upgrade and everything. And uh, I want a different deck where I can control like the. Uh, frequency from with the subs and the speakers so i already know i'm getting that pioneer um and the tweeters i'm just trying to figure out which tweeters i should get if i should get some super tweeters or like you know or some like you know some average ones i don't really know what to get for that but uh yeah my first this is my very first uh dash kit install and it came out pretty good um the harness and everything is a clean uh pretty much install I use butt connectors, which I, I I forgot that I had some extra ones. I use butt connectors and some uh, what do you call those things? Zip ties. I zip tied the, I'm saying the wires. So it wasn't all loose and I'm saying nasty. And I actually I ran the the rest of my wires. Uh, I got the RCAs on that side, and I got the power and remote on this side. Reason being is because it was hard to get the remote through. You know, I'm saying that side because it's like. With this, these newer cars, they have all these plastic, you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying, panels on there, so it's hard to find holes and shit to run it through, so I had to do it on this side because it was easier. Let me show you in the back. So, got the remote ran. Sorry, my, my phone was like lagging a little bit because my phone was just getting really slow with all this stuff on it, songs and stuff. Power wire right there. And then, hold up. Got the RCAs right here. So, now, as far as my box, I was thinking about just. Sorry about that again, phone's lagging up. I was thinking about just turning my box around, um, and then, you know what I'm saying, having it as far as I can, well, there's not that much space in between here and here, but, uh, just having my box turned around, having the seats down, and, uh, you know, I'm pretty much having the subs facing that way, so I can feel it more, and that's pretty much how I'm gonna have it, and, um, I'm trying to think where I can put my amp at, I'll just, uh, let's see if I have it right there, turned that way battery all the way back and I'll have my amp what I'll do is I'll put my amp uh, up against the seat you know um I won't even have to mount it all I have to do is just have it uh sideways so yep that's pretty much what I'm gonna do so I'll order an amp when I get paid um in the next week and a half or whatever whenever the hell I get paid again but yeah that's it um so thanks for watching peace